Uh, get up and get an acceleration again. I'm in the uh, manual mode here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2022 Maserati Quattroporte Modena. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Maserati of downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Quattroporte. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get right into the video. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo three liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, power outputs are 424 horsepower and then 428 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 16 around town and then 24 on the highway. Now that we've gone over the specs, I wanna quickly go over the display of the engine. I love how they have made everything pretty much uniform under the engine bay so that it is just very beautifully displayed overall. And yeah, I mean, everything from like what you see with the hood and then down below just, I don't know, it looks aesthetically pleasing. Now let's go over the front end and this looks absolutely sinister in black and this is one of the few black cars you can actually see the body lines here you can see especially there on the center of the hood and then off to the side and then notice how we have the LED accent lights with the projector bulbs it looks fantastic and then you can see this venting down here is actually functional a lot of cars will have that nowadays and it won't be functional not here in the Quattroporte. Notice we got the parking sensors integrated here into the front and down below, very nicely integrated. And then I just love how the grill looks overall, it has that cool exotic car look. And then you can see that actually continues onto that portion. And then obviously you have the signature Maserati grill with the Trident there in the center. And then there's a camera just up above. The Trident logo now doubles as a sensor, which is pretty cool. And then, well, you have another Maserati logo just up above that. So everyone knows that, you know, you're driving a Maserati. But yeah, the front end of this is just beautiful. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 21 inch wheels in the front, and then two 85 millimeter tires wrapped around 21 inch wheels in the back. Now actually going over the design on the wheel itself, it looks just fantastic. You can see you've got the silver there on the top, and then how it is kind of like a metallic gray just down below that. This is one of the most intricate wheels I've ever seen from a manufacturer, again, an OEM wheel, it's pretty crazy. And then that part right there in the center, Got the red brake caliper to make things look a little bit more aggressive, but yeah, love the wheels on this. Notice we've got the Modena logo that has been blacked out, and then you've got the accent piece right there. And then you can see that the mirrors are blacked out with the door handles. Those have a silver finish on it. And so then that kind of all ties in together with the accenting on the side and then the wheels and everything, and then also the trim around the windows. Now here's our key fob. Notice we got the Maserati logo there on the back. You've got your unlock, your lock, remote start, and then the opening for the trunk. And notice that that will pop right open. Pretty fancy. Now actually popping here into the trunk area, notice we have a 12 volt right there with some netting. And then we have this little handle right here that we can pick up. And this is where the uh, spare tire lives out its days. And then in terms of storage space, it's actually pretty good here in the trunk area. And when you're all done, you can lock it if you want. And then you can just press that and that'll lower down the trunk lid again and boom. Finishing things here in the rear. First off, I love the LED taillights here on the back. I think they look absolutely fantastic and just all the coloration uh, inside of that. And then pretty normal with the logos. We've got parking sensors here on the bottom. You can see the little, little diffuser and then the exhaust tips as well look super aggressive. Uh, but overall, it's a beautiful car pretty much from every angle. Now here's the door panel in the rear. First off, you notice you have beautiful black leather here at the top with some nice contrasted stitching. And then we have the beautiful brown leather down below that with more contrasted stitching. You've got your door lock and unlock for the rear, your window control right there. And then I love the actuation on the door handle and how this trim piece all connects together. And then there's a little bit of wood trim right there. Bowers and Wilkins sound system, got beautiful speakers for that. Notice we got the Maserati plaque. And then here are the rear seats. Look how nice these look. Sorry about my shadow right there. But you can see the attention to detail with the stitching and the perforated leather. Very, very nice and sumptuous is the best word to use. But let's quickly pop in so you can see legroom in here is great. And then also headroom. And then there is some storage space here on the back of the seat. And then we got some vents right here. And we have like the center console set up for the rear passengers. So got some cup holders right there. Beautiful wood trim. Notice we have heated cold seats here for the rear passengers. This is for the sunshade in the back. We've got our own climate zone as well. And then we can open up this. And this is kind of like a little center console with a cigarette lighter. And then notice how we have our own little uh, Maserati cup things. 
Uh, I guess these are technically like ashtrays is what you could use this for. Um, but uh, I would use this for like M&Ms. So yeah, it just shows uh, my uh, maturity level and sophistication level. The M&M holder in the Maserati Quattroporte. Um, but anyways, this also uh, is just uh, has some like adjustments for the seats in the back. So you've got that on the side that you can do. So if you guys can see the seat is adjusting based on that. And uh, yeah, let's head to the front now. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, beautiful black leather here with the wood trim just down below. And then notice they have the silver that connects to the door handle and then all the brown leather. And then we've got the window controls, the power folding button for the mirrors, which there's the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring and then more speakers for the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. And then the memory seat function, Maserati logo again. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, Maserati logo, beautiful, beautiful attention to detail. Look at that. And then you got the adjustments on the side of the seat pedals down below and then you got the light control right there got the uh, start button actually on the left side and then the steering wheel is automatically adjustable and there's one more look before we pop in here is the steering wheel notice we have beautiful leather all around and then you got the black stitching here on the center portion and then you can see the beautiful silver trim Voice command, phone controls. We've got our cruise control and steering assist over here. Paddles here that are mounted to the steering column rather than the steering wheel, and they are massive in a Ferrari fashion slash a Maserati fashion. And then notice you've got the stock right there for the windshield wipers and the turn signal. And, well, that's all for the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. There's some different menus you can scroll through to give you different bits of information on the vehicle itself. Nothing too crazy. And then I love how you have the Maserati Tridents in the middle of the gauge cluster. And still analog gauges looks really cool. I mean, the tack especially, I'll just give it a little baby rev. You can see just how the tack looks. That is definitely cool, but uh, yeah, it's all for the gauge cluster. Now here is the center infotainment system. First off, I'm gonna pop it into reverse. So notice that the backup camera will pop up. It's got trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. I got the bird's eye view. And then we have all of the different viewpoints here through the camera system as well. So really good from a camera perspective. Now you guys will be familiar with this infotainment system from other vehicles. No complaints from me. I think that it's great that they uh, will borrow some switch gear from other manufacturers because that means that they can focus on uh, other more important stuff in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, infotainment system is great. Response time on it is fantastic. You can see that with the climate control section, it's easy to use. Got the vehicle tab, which is a little Maserati. And so you can control all that. You can lock the glove box, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for the infotainment system. Look at the clock above it as well. That's nice. Analog climate controls right here. Beautiful wood trim here with the cup holders. Got the shifter for that eight speed automatic with again, the manual shift function. Got our stability control here. Auto stops are at the ice sport. And then this is for the suspension. So with the sport, you press that and then it'll pop that on. And then with the suspension, um, you can see that it'll pop up right there with the sport suspension. It'll let you know that that is on. And then you can see you've got this for like the radio. I love how it has the double stack uh, look on it. It's pretty unique. And then you can see you've got some more storage space right here, but you can cover that up with the wood paneling. And then we have the center console here for the front. Again, another little 12 volts cigarette lighter, right? And then we have the beautiful glove box, which is lined with felt. And the reason I say it's beautiful is look at the leather trim all around it. And then the handle is very nice. The wood trim right here is nice. And then the dash as well, tons of really nice materials. And I guess we'll finish things off by going over the top. So we do have a traditional sunroof and then premium headliner. Look at this. This is definitely, again, really nice. And notice that we have uh, this for the shade and all that fun stuff. And that's all for the top. So here is our window sticker, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the color names on this because I'll just butcher it and make myself look like an idiot. But notice how this uh, describes the uh, powertrain. I like how it says, amplifying the executive sedan's Italian sporting nature at the end. <laughs> oh, Maserati, I love you. Um, anyways, we've got uh, the standard equipment, so you guys can freeze a frame if you want to read through every bit of standard equipment that this has. And then you've got the options with this particular car and then also the warranty information. You probably saw that. But anyways, total MSRP, $136,995. If you're wondering before the options, $112,700. Uh, the uh, leather package this has, so these beautiful leather seats, $5,500. Pretty crazy. But look how beautiful those seats are. Like, just perfect. Let's take it out and see how it drives.
So let's talk about visibility before we set off here on the Quattro Porte. There's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors which have blind spot, then throughout the rest of the rear. And something I just realized is even the uh, uh, seat belt holder, they put leather around the plastic part. <laughs> I love it. Uh, anyways, let's set off. So we are setting off here in the Quattro Porte. And first off, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality here in the Quattro Porte. Uh, so from a ride quality perspective, it's actually very smooth and very comfortable. It's a really good uh, luxury vehicle and it just, it feels solid. It has this nice solid feel around you uh, that I don't necessarily get in all of the modern vehicles. And something I just noticed is there's wood trim in the middle of the steering wheel right here. So the steering wheel split up. I didn't notice that while reviewing it, but yeah, it definitely got wood trim though. <laughs> Makes the steering wheel feel interesting. So responsive. Yeah, this is just, it's really good from, you know, from a luxury car perspective, it's, it's nice and comfortable. So yeah, Maserati has nailed it from that and noise insulation is good as well. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything negative to say about it from a luxury car perspective. And if you're wondering if these uh, $5,500 seats are worth it, they look amazing and they're comfortable. I, I can't tell you if they're, you know, that much nicer than the base seats because I haven't reviewed a base model Quattro Porte for the 2022 model year, but I can tell you, I love these seats. I definitely love them, so <laughs> it's got that going for it. So I've popped it over into the sport mode, and I have also popped it over into the manual shift function. I want to see the suspension. Okay, so sport suspension is always sport suspension. I did try it for a second. It just made the car really bumpy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's worth it all that much, unless you have really smooth pavement and you really need the extra handling. I would just keep it in normal suspension all the time. Let's uh, get up and get an acceleration again. I'm in the uh, manual mode here. Ooh, this thing punches. Wow. The ZF 8-speed automatic, you guys know I'm a huge fan of it. It's such a good transmission. And this car is smooth. Like, the way they have tuned this, it's really smooth. Acceleration is super solid, but it's really smooth. It sounds great. For a V6, sounds amazing. I don't know any other V6 that sounds quite this good. It's just, uh, they've nailed it from a sound perspective. So, let's get into setting things up here with the Quattro Porte. Exterior-wise, I think it's a beautiful car. Maserati's always been good with exterior styling on their cars. And then from an interior perspective, it's really nice. Uh, interior materials are top-notch. Fit and finish is really solid as well. Everything looks nice, feels nice to touch. So anyone saying that, you know, Maserati build quality is not all that great and that they need to have nicer interiors. I mean, these new ones, super solid. And then from a driving characteristic perspective, it does luxury car stuff. It's really comfortable. And so it's solid with that. Downtown Salt Lake is always people crossing the crosswalks when they should. Um, but yeah, really good with that. Paddle response time is great. And it, it's a quick car. Like I said, it's it's it accelerates at a really decent pace. So it's solid from that perspective. Uh, and so, yeah, it's, it's really solid overall. $136,000 is, you know, pretty pricey. But obviously... You've got the Maserati brand name and you have a unique engine in this that you're not going to get with other manufacturers. Every other manufacturer seems to be sharing engines nowadays. Uh, obviously, Maserati shares a lot with Ferrari, but there's a big difference between sharing an engine with Ferrari and, you know, something like BMW or Audi or something. You know, you guys know what I mean. So, yeah, I think it's really solid. Uh, I guess we got to give this a score. I'll give it... Uh, I don't know what to compare it against. That's a problem. Um... So I guess since I don't know what to compare it against, I really like it. I just think it's obviously it's expensive. So I'll give it an eight out of 10, but I don't, I don't have anything to compare this against because there's nothing else in this segment that I've really uh, reviewed up to this point, but it's still really nice. Now let's get something's up for our video on this 2022 Maserati Quattro Porte. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Maserati of downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Quattro Porte. Check out their inventory link below. I will see all of you in that next video.